generating a report. Once you've completed all the tests, and the tests will be checkmarked when they're actually done, you'll come to the test endnotes, and then it'll be time to generate the report. We click on the Generate Report button. In the Report Generator, we can select our template. So currently we have three different uh, templates available, so we'll just select the standard FCE template. We'll click on the Generate Report button. Once the report is completed, it will then appear here in the list. So we have the latest FCE report in the list, so we'll highlight that FCE report. Click on Edit. And now we are have the ability to edit the report. So the report itself appears here. The advantage of doing some edits inside this software program is that we can jump from section to section of the report very quickly as opposed to scrolling through. So if we want to take a look at the hand grip data, we can jump right down and see the hand grip uh, data. Or if we want to go back up and look at the spinal range of motion data, we can click on that and then go and see that, uh, that data there. Another advantage of the software is the split screen option. So the split screen option allows you to look at two parts of the report. So if you are writing the executive summary and uh, reading the uh, range of motion data, you could be writing over here talking about the reliability and consistency in the executive summary while reading the data um, about the coefficient of variations that were calculated during the uh, range of motion test. Once you've done all of your edits, to the uh, report itself, you can click on the Save button. And the report has been completely rebuilt now. Once we've done all of our edits inside of the um, report editing software, we're likely going to want to export this to Microsoft Word. So we click on the Two Word button here and we're choosing to open up this file with Microsoft Word and we now have a uh, Microsoft Word document uh, likely when you get to this section here you may want to change the um, uh, to the print layout and this will look a little bit more like you're used to on the screen at this point the um, metric software is no longer being utilized it's just a Microsoft Word document and you can just save that um, wherever you like onto your hard drive or uh, into a removable disk or a jump drive and you can take it from the computer it's on and go and work on it somewhere else or you can work it on it locally on the uh, computer itself.